Welcome back to Tamaron's Tactics. This is AI War Fleet Command Gameplay Tutorial Part 8. In this last video, we captured the system of Durbin, uh, which we are currently uh, just finishing off the installations in this system. Now, uh, when we captured Pabonmati, which has eight metal asteroids there, okay, we still never cleared out this laser guard post over here. And since we still have not destroyed that laser guard post, which I'll ask these sniper turrets to hurry up and do. Since that has not been destroyed, we have not yet auto-built the metal harvesters in this system, okay? And we can see that we're actually losing metal right now, okay? So I want to ask the, the game to just build them for me, even though I haven't destroyed that last laser guard post, okay? If I hold down Z over it, there's, no, there's one metal harvester in its range, but whatever, okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna hit B to go to build something, and under the Econ tab, the second one here is the metal harvester, and you can see in blue it says tip. If you wanna build all the metal har harvesters on this planet at once, just hold control and left click this button. Now, I could have done that, but actually the sniper turrets just destroyed that turret, and as soon as they destroy it, it auto-built all of these we'll harvesters. So let's do that. I'm going to hit B to build something. We're going to go to the turret tab. Let's grab a couple of tractor beam turrets, and I'll just put like maybe three here. Okay, one, two, and then one in the middle near the gate. Three, all right. Let's grab the MLRS turret, and I'm just going to put them all right here. All right. The laser turret, we'll put all of them right here. Same with the needler turret. We still got our sniper turrets sitting back here that can shoot at anything that comes in. Let's grab one of the stealth tachyon beam emitters and put it next to this Vorplu gate. And then we're gonna grab a normal tachyon beam emitter and we'll put it underneath this, whoops, underneath this force field right here. If an enemy comes here to attack this base, they're gonna have to go right through all of those turrets. Okay. I'd like to build some defenses here at Pavonati because the only thing that I have defending the system is uh, these sniper turrets over there, and that's it, okay? So I need to build more turrets here. Here come some missile frigates to al uh, But, yeah, we just don't really have the metal. So why don't I go ahead and go back to my science lab, which is right here, actually. I'm going to go to the Econ tab, and underneath there is a Metal Harvester Mark II, which is going to give us 10 more metal for each of our metal harvesters. That costs 4,000 knowledge. So I'm going to unlock the Metal Harvester Mark II, and that's going to automatically upgrade all of our Metal Harvesters to the Mark II one, and now suddenly you can see we have plenty of metal. All right. Now that we've got a positive metal income, let's go ahead and drop a bunch of turrets here in Pabonmati. I'm going to hit B for, tur for build and then go to turrets. We haven't done any yet. I'm going to grab the missile turret, which can cover all four of the warp gates and our base, all are from the same position. I'm going to hold down Shift and Alt and drop all of them right there. Okay. Now when I do that, you see that that hurts our metal income right there. It brings it from positive 2,000-ish to about negative 2,000-ish per second. As soon as they're built, though, it'll just go right back to a positive number. Those engineers just help them to be built more quickly is all. You get that energy and metal into them. Now that those are all built, we can go to our next set of turrets in the system. I'm going to grab the MLRS turret. And I want these, whenever we build turrets, we want any trajectory that the enemy takes to cross through that turret bubble. Okay, remember we're imagining the line. Okay, it's going to go to all three of those warp gates. So if I just put it right here, then it'll cover all of those. But we want to put it outside of the force field because we don't want it to diminish its strength. So there's a whole bunch of MLRS turrets. We'll wait for them to be built. Let's go to Al Hajar while we're uh, while we're getting this set up. Okay, all of our ships are, are here in Al Hajar mostly. Let's let's retreat them back to behind the turrets. All right. In 30 seconds, we're going to have a bunch of missile frigates come in, and they are countered by bombers and tanks. Okay, so let's grab our bombers and tanks, and we'll put them in FRD mode back here. But everybody else will just be in non-FRD mode. All right. And when those missile frigates come in, only the ones that counter them are going to react to that attack. And it'll give them a little bit of time to get hammered by the snipers back here and the missile turrets here before they actually arrived into the combat. Looks like we've got a second wave of fighters also coming into al -Hurri. So 
Sniper turrets whittling away at them as they come in. They've also got a flagship. Flagship projects a buff to ships nearby it. <laughs> They're not traveling as a fleet. That's, that's silly. It would have been an awful lot better, better off having the flagship fly with these ships. So the easily countered ships there are annihilated by our, our bombers. They retreat, okay? No problem. We probably lost just a few ships there, but it's not a big deal. Okay. Okay. How's that flagship faring over here? Probably not super well, huh? Well, you ships can all go ahead and attack that. I'll head and give an X move on an intercept course right in front of it there. Another minute and a half, we'll have some fighters come in. So fighters are light hull, they're countered by missile frigates. Okay. As soon as that flagship's destroyed there. There we go. I'm gonna grab all my fleets. I'm gonna put them right behind the turrets here, and we're just gonna wait one minute for those fighters to come in. Now, the fighters are light, they're countered by the missile frigates, so the missile frigates are now going to go into FRD mode right back here. Hold down B, right click, right there, okay? They can just stay with the fleet, it's fine, they don't have to be up, up ahead or anything like that, they can just sit behind the turrets, the fighters will come in and get smashed by, turret, by our turrets, and then about here or so the missile frigates will intercept them, all right? Here come those fighters. I'll zoom in. <laughs> they're out of here. <laughs> Simple as that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we have obviously superior forces to them, and they, they wisely retreated. Okay, so now that we were completely done with those fights, let me just grab the rest of my ships here in our home system. We want all of them to go to al Hajur here. Once they arrive there in al Hajur, we're going to rally on the Merger Gate, and then in the next video... We're going to go ahead and launch that attack on Murdra and try to capture that system. All right. There's a lot to do in Murdra, um, so it's going to be a long attack, so that'll probably take up the entire next video. In this video, we fortified our, uh, our uh, borders by building turrets in Durban and in uh, Pabenmati. We actually still have a couple to go. Let me just drop those down real quick. Um, yeah, they'll all just go right here. That'll finish off our, our defense there in Pavanmati. Right. We can put the flak in the, under the force field as well. And the lightning. Okay, so that's the full complement of turrets now. <laughs> All right, so that's it for Pabanmati. So now that we've fortified Pabanmati and we've fortified Durban, we've decided that this is going to be our path of entry into the enemy territory down here. We're going to go to Murdra and capture this, and then after that, we're going to head over here and deal with this Dyson Sphere at Hasbang. But that's going to be all in future videos, okay? So for now, you're watching Tameron's Tactics. Again, my name is Nuck Tameron. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for the continuation of this gameplay tutorial series.